yeah, this Hollywood thing, when you look at what is Hollywood, yeah, it's the, the wood that Merlin the magician used mm. to cast spells. So when you go into all of that and look at the occult and start to look at what Hollywood does, what Hollywood does is it, it casts spells on the people. And that ties into the music industry, it ties into most of the entertainment industry because this is where they promise you to become a star, um, which is fire. But there's fire being used in a good way and fire being used in a bad way. This is why Lucifer is referred to as the morning star. So these people, um, they promise to have this light and that light is referred to as being illuminated or the Illuminati, those who are enlightened. And so they're the ones that are running the planet and running the music industry and running the film industry. And what they do is they get to make a movie, they got to get a cast. Yeah, so they pick people <laughs> that are going to play and execute this spell because they write a script. Mm. A script is written with words. And so they get people who can be really fake. They can cry at a moment's notice. And when they're acting, they're so convincing that when you're watching the, the movie, you forget that it's a movie because there's a, a puppet master pulling the strings and it gets into your emotions and it gets you to basically, you know, like if it's a singer, they become your idol. I-D-O-L or I-D-L-E, you see, like they play on words. And so you become idol because you kind of give yourself to them. You want to follow them. Everything they do, everything they say, you know, they say, buy this, wear this, the brands come in, you see. So yes, um, Hollywood is, is just a, a way that they use to cast spells and the people who sell their soul to be a part of this, they get a star in Hollywood on the ground and that's the fire that they start to kind of like burn in hell because it's about desires. Everybody wants to, you know, be rich and famous and then that lifestyle, you get introduced to other things and then it just gets worse as you get pulled into the, to the rabbit hole until you start to hear all these things that, you know, they're talking about, like, sacrificing children mm. and paedophilia and all kinds of stuff that's going on. Yeah. Okay, that's deep, isn't it? Yeah, oh, we, you're man. scratching, they're scratching. Damn. The, we're going in. I'm going to get flagged up, man. <laughs> no, there's a lot of things, but I think we might need to do a part two because yeah. I'll see how much they flag me up after this one, innit? <laughs> but, but this is what I'm saying. Who's the they and why do they want to flag uh, do you up? Do you know what? Interesting, yeah, yeah because yeah. I've I've been in a lot of interesting places with a yeah. lot of interesting people. Yeah. But I feel like I've always had that kind of shield around where I'm like, look, I'll look, mm. but I'm not participating. And it's somehow, yeah, I've been in a few places where I've seen a lot of questionable things and yeah. I can see why people get sucked in mm. uh, because they come with, like you said, promise of riches, fame, like anything mm. you want. Mm. All we want is just, just your soul and your energy. Yeah. And luckily for me, I've got that strength to be like, Look, I'm a sovereign being. I'm not giving my soul to anybody. Mm. But I can see how a lot of people, especially times right now when, you know, they have the whole cost of living crisis mm -hmm. thing going on. I see how easily it could be like, you know what? Mm. Take my soul. I'd rather have the security for my family. Yeah. And yeah, it's quite scary to know. So maybe that brings me on to a point. Um, and can we just you... touch on what you just said there. Yeah, and you will have people that in their lyrics, they blatantly say, I sold my soul to the devil and the price was cheap. Yeah. And then... This is the, the making um, evil fear seem in again, because in the Bible, it says, what profits a man to gain the whole world, but to lose their soul? Mm. So, yeah, you can gain the whole world, which is just material things at the yeah. end of the day. And then, yeah, lose the your soul. The smoke and mirrors. The smoke and mirrors. But the soul Not is everything that glitters way. is gold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the question that I have, um, can you participate in these sort of, let's say, like, events or scenarios or situations with these sort of people, um, but still have your soul intact and have, like, a protective shield around you and kind of... So for myself, I'll, I'll give mm. an example. I'm a knowledge seeker. Mm. Um, I um, went to, like, this Freemason Museum, was just, you know, researching, doing my research, reading the books. Mm. Um, and then, you know, it's, after a while, somebody said, oh, would you like to join? Mm. And I was like, ooh... And you know, the spiritual seeker in me is like, oh, I, mm. I really want to see for myself what you guys are doing <laughs> yeah. behind them closed doors. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to join because I don't know what will happen. Mm. So taking that situation, uh, yeah. I, I didn't end up joining, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. uh, but again, <laughs> there's people going to be disputing that. Da, 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 da. Mm. Anyways, 
I didn't end up joining them, but it's just been one of those things where I, I still question. I'm like, man, mm. I, and I wonder, like, can you join and participate in these things, but still have a way to keep your soul intact just for like spiritual research or just mm. worldly research or even to maybe gain, like, you know, if you participate with these people, yeah. get the contacts and leave, but still have your soul and spirit intact mm. if your, you know, protection is strong enough. Is that possible? Yeah, I mean, that's, that goes back to what I said, that ultimately you're God and mm. you're the one that makes the decision. So it depends on you how strong you are because um, people think that it's, it's, you can't put your head in, you know, in the sand and just be hidden from everything because you're still here. You still have to experience things. You still have to participate in the world. But in the scriptures, it says be in the world, but not of it, mm. right? So you have to remember that. And so when, say, for example, somebody might be a really talented musician or singer or whatever, and they want to be, you know, making music, but they don't want to really get involved with all the crap that goes on. This is where your knowledge of the industry and the music. So, for example, you will sign a contract, but most people wouldn't even see that the word is con. You're, you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> you're, you're getting conned Whoa. into something. I never realised that. Yeah, but if you don't know about contract law and you don't study the contract and you don't have someone who's like a legal person to look through it, you're just getting excited. Mm. Oh, I'm going to get an advance. I'm going to get, I'm going to be, my, my music's going to be popping. I'm going to have music videos. But you get conned and now you've signed a contract and you can't get out of it. And they have told you in the contract, if we say take, get plastic surgery, mm. you're going to do it because you're our product. You belong to us. Yeah. So, so I'm just saying that to say, now, nah, going into the, the other point about, you know, like knowledge. Yes, um, the thing about Freemasonry and or m more like secret societies, the secret is there are no secrets. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and people that will hear me say this might be like, hmm. Yeah, because when you actually research and start to study and go into them, um, you will know, and, and the best teacher is experience. So yeah, you can go into, into anything as long as you know that you're strong enough to be like, I have my purpose of doing what I'm doing. And at the end of the day, it's just knowledge, you know, but then as you say, there will be a point where you will be put to the test or mm. be put in a position where are you going to compromise? So most people will be like rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous and, you know, they'll, you know, take you to exotic places and, you know, hotels and you live the good life and they might even say, yeah, take that car, have that and have that jewellery or whatever. And you just get sucked in. It's like music. Um, people just get sucked into wanting to be a star, not looking at it like, okay, I need to look at this as a business. Am I going to sell my soul? Who are the producers? Who are the people that are going to be like controlling my life? And yeah, so that's what happens. So I would say, yeah, study. We, we, if you're God, you shouldn't fear anything. Like literally, like even when you're saying, oh, they, they're going to, it's like, <laughs> you're giving them power. Like, it's true, it's true. They, what they, it's true. Am I in or because, out? I feel like one yeah, foot's in, exactly. one foot's out. And, and it's uh... like, at the end of the day, you're not doing anything wrong, right? Mm. And speaking truth is the best thing one can do. So if, as long as you're speaking truth, you're not harming anybody, you're, you're not really doing anything wrong. Why are they going to have an issue with mm. you? Yeah.